Welcome again to another of TMG's OTDR training videos. Today I will cover one of my favourite options for the VAV OTDR as well as other instruments in their range for VDSL and BERT testing. This is called Smart Access Anywhere and it's a feature in which the OTDR can be controlled remotely. How does this help me, I hear you ask? Well as a technician it allows you for on-site support. If you're struggling with the setup or getting strange results you can call your boss the delivery partner or even TMG to provide some help and let them take control of the OTDR from anywhere. As a tech expert or the company owner it allows you to train your guys from the comfort of your office, set up test parameters and configure the instruments so all tests are uniform with the techs in the field. From a telco perspective it will get the network built quicker with less truck rolls. Less need to test problem areas which have been incorrectly tested the first time around. I want to show you an example of how easy it is to get the wrong trace when you think the OTDR is set up correctly. Like previous videos, I'll base this on the tech that is working on the LFN part of the network and testing upstream through the splitters. First here is a trace when the OTDR has been set up correctly. You can clearly see the trace and the events below. I'm looking to put the cursor in front of the end connector of my launch lead. I can do this by simply selecting the first event and moving the cursor A back slightly. I can do the same with cursor B by selecting the second splitter on the event table and again moving the cursor back just before the FJL. I can clearly see the loss between cursor A and cursor B is 6.82 dB which can be now added to the NBN workbook. I have now made a minor change to the settings and selected my OTR to test from point to point instead of the pond set up like it was before. All other settings are the same such as pulse width, distance, index of refraction etc. So the first noticeable difference is that the events at the bottom of the display are not shown in the splitters so now cannot be used to assist on where to set my cursors. It would now be easy to make a mistake and position my cursors incorrectly without the guidance of the events below or the smart link mapper function. Especially to a tech with very little OTDR experience, the result displayed on the OTDR could be much higher or lower than the actual loss. This simple demonstration shows the importance of the correct setup and how useful it would be for remote assistance. So this is what it looks like to be able to control your OTDR remotely and change configurations, file names, formats and load up config files which we covered off in a previous video. So let's take a look at the steps to take if you'd like to use this feature. Step 1 is to make sure your OTDR has Wi-Fi option enabled. To check this from your home screen select the settings icon. Then select the about key in the top right. I can see that I have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi you only need the wireless option for this to work. Just a note, this is the screen in which the software version is also displayed. If I go into software options, this is where I see I have the Smart Access Anywhere software enabled. Now, if you did not purchase the OTDR with the Wi-Fi inbuilt, do not fear as TMG set the Wi-Fi dongles to plug into the USB port of the OTDR and they are pretty cheap. Step 2 is to order the Smart Access Anywhere license for the mainframe. Here are the order codes depending on what version of MTS 2000 or MTS 4000 you have. If unsure, call TMG and we will help you. Step 3, receive an email from Viavi with the instructions on how to upload the license. Again, if unsure, call TMG and we will assist. Step 4, download Smart Access Anywhere for your PC, Android device or iOS device from the Viavi website. Simply type in Smart Access Anywhere, download, then click the link for the device that you'll be using. Step 5, create a wireless link for your OTDR. First thing you need to do is set your phone up as a hotspot and make sure you know the password to get into your phone. From your OTDR screen, go into connectivity, select wireless, and then scan SSID. From here, you should now see your phone, press select, and then go into the password, 
and key in your password. Auto connect can be left on, so it auto connects at any time. If it's not, another option will come up on the right of the screen allowing you to connect manually. Step six, create an access code. From the home screen, you select the access anywhere icon. You may have to wait a small time while the OTR finds the access code. Step seven, controlling the OTR from the office. So your tech in the field has given you the access code. You've uh, now put that into your software and now you're just ready to connect to his OTDR. So this is done in just a, a matter of seconds. And here we are with the main screen. So if I go into a remote screen, just make that a little bit bigger. Um, this is his screen that the tech is seeing. So if I go to setup, I can go through all the different settings uh, to make sure that uh, he's got it configured correctly. If he's going to test through splitters or to make sure he's uh, file name convention is correct uh, anything like that you can check from here and then into results and then I can run a trace and have a look I will now cover how to use smart access anywhere to download traces from the OTDR or upload config files from your PC from the information screen on the smart access anywhere software I can select the file transfer button in the middle of the screen or on the bottom left the left hand side of the display displays all the folders on my PC with the address bar in pink. To the right is the up function that allows me to go up one like it would if I was using my PC. And as you can see, I'm now in my C drive. So go back to my folders such as documents and desktop. I just select the home button found in the top left and see how my address bar has changed back to normal. In the middle here is an upload button and this will upload files such as config files to my OTDR and then to the right is the delete button which will delete files from my PC. Now to the right of my screen is my OTDR disk space. This will display everything as I would see if I was going into the file screen of my OTDR storing traces and config files. Just like the left hand side I have a home button and I always have a pink address bar that indicates what file I'm looking at. To the right I have a download button which would download traces and config files if I wished and next to that I have a refresh button and a delete button again to the right and then lastly I have an add folder button which allows me to add folders as I please. So now you understand the basics let's load a config file straight from my PC onto the OTDR. So I need to go into the file where the config file is held on my PC and there it is and uh, so I'm just going to select this and then I'm going to then move over to the OTDR filing system on the right hand side. So you'll find in here a folder called config so I'm going to open that up and I've already put some folders together one being for NBN FTTC so let's open that up and in there should be a DFN and an LFN folder now I'm going to pretend that the LFN already has a config file in there that my tech's been using and say a document's been changed by the NBN so I'm going to delete the config file that he has been using and replace it with the new one so all I need to do is just select it, delete it that's done and then I can see that that's the address that it's going to go into I know that's right I just select the config file and simply upload great that's in there so let, let's just jump straight back into remote screen and have a look at the OTDR again if I go into setup go into load config file go into my FTTC folder and then go into LFN there it is I can select it load it and now it's ready for, for my tech to use out in the field knowing that all the parameters are set up correctly so finally I want to cover how I can take the SOR files from the OTDR and put them straight on my display
the benefit of this is my guy could be out in the field and I could at the end of the day I can dig into his files put them onto my PC and then send them off to the MBN or to the delivery partner with the MBN workbook so here I'm looking at my folder screen on my PC um, and I'm looking to add um, a, a fan 002 to match what's on the OTDR so I need to go into my computer add an actual file and call it fan 002 knowing that all my results want to be stored into that folder there nice and simple um, and then all I need to do is go back into this my access anywhere program and if I look on the left hand side you can see the fan 002 folder is there so that's the way to add a folder in that section so let's open it up it's blank so let's open up the fan 002 in the OTDR and there's all the uh, the traces that my uh, my guy's been out in the field and he's done today so I can uh, I can either go and select uh, one of these traces um, or I can select two or three of these traces if I want to uh, or I could just go select all and uh, and then just all I need to do is press download and then that will start downloading to the, uh, the PC so that's going to take about a minute to do that so I'll just fast forward that so um, there they are sat on the left hand side so let's go and have a look at them in the PC themselves so let's go straight to my file go to fan 002 and there they are there's all the SRR files um, so they are ready to either be opened up with uh, with a bit of software so if you're doing mass testing uh, at the uh, on the DFN you could put them in software and do and we'll cover that in a, another software in another video um, or I could just send them as they are now to the MBN uh, if if they urgently needed them but if you look amongst them there's two PDFs as well um, and the reason I, I've put them as an example is when you save files on your OTR you can save as an SOR and you can save as a PDF as well so if I was to save this is a 1310 and 1625 which is one of the uh, fibers which is the same as the SOR file if I open that up now which I can do on my PC which obviously I can't do with an SOR file without the software but I can do obviously open up a PDF I can then see that trace I can see exactly to make sure the cursors were put in the right place I can see the loss between the A and B at 7.368 and I can also see the splitters in line there's an SOR file there at the top and I can see all the pulse width and distance I can see all the setup so I know for sure that my guys set the OTD up correctly so that concludes today's video on smart access anywhere I hope it's offered you a flavor of the benefits that would offer you as a field test business owner or telco provider smart access anywhere offers the ability to provide training assist with testing standardized test practices and download results on the go with your skills good quality test equipment and a little bit of TMG's product help we can all work together and build a better network if you have liked this video then please subscribe to make sure you do not miss out on any future presentations also please feel free to like and share with your follow colleagues and if you need a little help in the field please feel free to contact our tech support and sales team if you need pricing why not treat yourself to a little smart access anywhere today until next time goodbye